trailers, wrestling, sci-fi, fantasy, video games, comic cons. You're listening to Pop Cultured with Silver Screen Sheen and Team. Here's Silver Screen Sheen. That's me. Welcome to Pop Cultured, right here on Newstock 1290 CJBK. I'm your host, Silver Screen Sheen. Joined in the adjacent soundproof booth like they used to have in the 1950s and 60s quiz shows is Neil Temple of Doom. How are you, sir? Yes, it's been off and on with the weather, and today was kind of uh, on. Uh, yesterday was off, so there we go. But you told me that uh, tomorrow might be rain. Oh, we'll talk about that. Some some big happenings all this uh, weekend. Uh, we'll talk about all of that and more. But we're going to start things off with our usual and one of my personal favorites because it's just full of variety. <clears throat> this is called an edit. Yes. It, get it. Uh, so stop that. Pump that back up. And we bring in. Hmm. Hey, hey. Television. We love it. We watch it. So therefore, we talk about it. Neil. The usual C dubs. Let's hit it. What do we got? What do we don't have? What is it? Are we in a lull? Fill me in with my DC uh, stuff. Well, it doesn't have to be CW. Whatever, DC show. Two weeks episode at the very end, uh, Killer Frost got to see. He can just keep talking and talking. Sabotage. He can't hear me necessarily, so we just yeah, let him do his on thing. The show. And this week, he just the babbles on about a bunch of shows I haven't watched. I won't spoil it and say who it is. It may not be exactly who you expected it to be. Um, but uh, the episode was really good. It, it gave a chance to show to you more by of uh, <laughs> Killer Frost versus uh, Vibe. You know, uh, versus Cisco. They have that kind of no idea strange relationship where he's trying to, you know, pull her back to the light side <laughs> to the good side um that she's staying evil um and uh you know with uh, a lot of uh, relationships going on at um uh daniel uh, danielle panabaker i believe her name is And uh, Riverdale was back finally, so watched uh, episode 11 of that. It was very good. It's uh, They're starting to really wind up who uh, murdered uh, Jason Blossom, which is the who done it. So they're starting to, uh, they're wrongfully accusing somebody, but uh, they're getting towards the end of it. And there's only two episodes left. So I watched the preview for episode 12, and it looks just as juicy. So make sure you uh, tune into Riverdale uh, or just start watching it if you haven't already. Uh, the Gong Show is back. <laughs> yes, The Gong Show has been resurrected by Will Arnett and Mike Myers. Mike Myers is playing a, uh, a character, a made-up character, like he does. 
It's a British, a made-up British t TV host that was pretty huge in the 70s and 80s, and they've uh, pulled him out of obscurity and made him the gong show host. So contestants, real. Host, fake. So it, a little bit of mix of, uh, of yeah, so... And it looks pretty funny. At least Mike Myers is uh, pull, is pulling off pretty good. And, and Gong Show, we all know what that is. So I think this day and age needs a new Gong Show because some people just need to be told that you come stop it and, <laughs> and a big gang. Yeah, uh, no, it, it was. But let's let's be honest. Let's just have the Gong Show back again. Uh, so Roseanne is back in the news as well. Uh, so I guess they're going to be rebooting Roseanne. And uh, we've got the major players are on board. Roseanne, John Goodman, and uh, Sarah Gilbert as well. So I'm going to assume that the rest of the crew should start trickling in. Oh, and also uh, Aunt, uh, Aunt Becky. Uh, not Aunt Becky. Uh, Aunt, what's her name? The aunt. Who was that? She was the killer in, uh, yeah, Laurie Metcalf. She was the killer in Scream 2. Uh, spoiler alert! Yes, Aunt Jackie. Thank you. So, yeah. No, no. It, they, the first series happened. The last season did not. Because uh, if you remember, it was uh, all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. I'm sorry, though. That's a uh, that's a notorious B.I.G. rap song. No, it was all a dream because John Goodman had a heart attack or, or Dan uh had dan connor had uh, a heart attack on the show and so she was living in this imaginary world that they won the lottery so that season didn't happen so dan is alive and well and uh you know so it should just be more of what we know and, and love which is the core of the show that it was probably the most realistic american family on tv at the time so yes because it wasn't sugar-coated whatsoever it was you know it was it was gritty it was funny it was you know yeah i don't know I, yeah exactly so there's roseanne laid out everything on like how it would work and so um i guess uh anyway just we'll put a link to it on our facebook fan page so make sure you check that out also uh august uh, if you're a fan of ray donovan that's coming back and so is episodes with um Whoa, not, not almost said Joey Lawrence. No, no, oh no. Uh, hey, how you doing? That Joey. <laughs> uh, Matt, uh, Matt LeBlanc, yes. Hey, how you doing? So I guess that's uh, coming back for season five or something like that. Uh, Fox has gifted the, uh, the X-Men show, the official X-Men show. Uh, it's going to be, uh, obviously the pilot's going to be done by Brian Singer. And the pilot will contain a Stanley cameo. <laughs> They've already filmed it. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Star Trek Dis Discovery, uh, they kind of put up a cast list of uh, a lot of the major players in that. And a lot of familiar faces from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> because it's, obviously it's being filmed in Canada and you got to have a percentage of your cast as uh, Actra um, Union. Uh, that's just the way it goes. So there's a lot of familiar faces. Uh, that you'll see coming up on Star Trek Discovery when that's done. Also, uh, if you're a fan of S.H.I.E.L.D. and that show, Ghost Rider will be returning to S.H.I.E.L.D. again, which is pretty cool. They did a really good um, version of Ghost Rider, I thought. Yeah, it was it was well, it's very well. He doesn't drive, a, he's not in a motorcycle, he's in a car. First, that's Because that's how it is in the comic books now. He's no longer in a motorcycle. He's still got the flaming head. Johnny Blaze, but it's like, uh, it's like, uh, I don't know. I think it's a Mexican guy that plays him now or something. It's portrayed by a, a Latin American. Um, no, well, it's all good. Uh, so there's going to be a, uh, since Weeds has left the air and it's done, there's a new sitcom, Weeds sitcom taken over called Disjointed with Kathy Bates, where she uh, owns and operates a uh, dispensary. And so, and laughs ensue. And so there we go. So that's going to be on Netflix, actually. And uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, it's coming out in August. And uh, it's from uh, producer Chuck Lorre. Yes. He, but yeah. So Big Bang Theory and uh, Two and a Half Men. All, you know, to name a few. So that's not too bad. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty good um, resume. So uh, we're going to quickly talk about, because there's not a whole lot, but hey. We gotta make sure we mention it anyway. Oh, 
Okay, so here's what's coming out on video and on demand, as the big voice said. If you missed it in the theater, it's now on Blu-ray. Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey movies, Fifty Shades Darker is coming out. And no big surprise that it's got an unrated edition. So it's just now containing more sauciness. <laughs> I don't know. It's a saucy movie. Um, Heat. Heat. Yes, so they're doing a definitive director's edition of that. It doesn't say if it's longer. I think they just kind of cleaned it up, you know, um, did, remastered it. There's, there'll be new supplemental material, maybe a new commentary. Not exactly sure. So that's coming out on Tuesday. So these are all coming out on the 9th, by the way. And if you don't have Netflix and you actually buy physical copies of Orange is the New Black, you'll be happy to know that Season 4 is... Uh, released on Blu-ray, finally, just before uh, Season 5 launches within the next month or two, I believe, on Netflix. Serial Mom. Uh, that, that's finally been, yes, <laughs> finally been released on, uh, whole, I don't even know if it came out on DVD, to be honest, uh, but it's out on Blu-ray, and that's uh, John Waters' uh, movie Serial Mom, if you're a fan. I believe that also had uh, one of the first appearances of Matthew Lillard as well. He was in that one, so back in the day, yes, before Scream. Um, in a movie that I think I was the only one that enjoyed because I hadn't seen the original, and I saw the remake of it in the theater when I was in college, which was Psycho, Gus Van Sant's uh, Psycho, shot for shot. Uh, you know what? I, exactly, because you'd seen the original. I hadn't, so I went in to, and saw a movie I'd never seen before, so... I think that's why I liked it is because I had no comparison. I never seen the original Psycho, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Of course, I've seen it now. It's fine. It is, yeah. I probably wouldn't have appreciated the remake as much as I did if I had already seen that. So, anyway. Well, yeah, I may be in that uh, category, so <laughs> not a big fan. Um... So there's just a bunch of like re-releases, The Untouchables, The uh, Godfather, Godfather 2, just re-released, uh, remastered on Blu-ray, and also VHS Massacre, which I'm looking forward to grabbing at Shockstock this weekend, because it's from Troma, and it's, uh, it's a documentary about the real gritty, cheesy VHS movies of the 80s and 90s that, uh, you know, only made its way around the VHS kind of trading circuit, so I'm definitely going to check that out, and I'll let you know what I thought of that when I buy it. <laughs> so um, we're going to uh, take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about... What are we going to talk about? Let me take a look at my, my notes here. <clears throat> Trailers. Hey, they dropped. We'll talk about them. And, of course, video games. And can't forget that tomorrow is free comic book day. And we'll talk about that, too. Right here on Pop Culture on News Talk 1290 CJBK.